Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, August 2nd. It is Friday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time. It's the optional memorial of St. Peter Julian Imard, and uh, registration for Be Formed has begun. So season nine of Be Formed starts September 11th, goes to December 9th, and uh, we're gonna be focusing on the second part of book three of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. So we'll be looking at morality, social justice, the Ten Commandments. There'll be very practical and theological discussions that come out of this part of the Catechism. You'll also grow in great friendship. So if you'd like to register or find out more, you can just Google Diocese of Joliet Be Formed, learn more about it, and also uh, register for a group if you'd like to join us. We have over 1,500 people uh, participating and hope to see that number expand. Who is St. Peter Julian Imard? So he, he was ordained a priest in the Diocese of Grenoble in France in 1834. Five years later, he felt the call to transfer over to the religious order of the Marists. Uh, and then in uh, 1856, after a profound experience with Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament, felt this call to start and found a new order called the Congregation of the Blessed Sacrament. Um, he died in 1868 and was canonized a priest in 1925. Love the bells behind me. So as I look at the gospel today, I want to focus on the gospel. Matthew chapter 13, verses 54 to 58. So Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. So he comes back to Nazareth. Everybody knows, you know, this is the son of Mary and Joseph. And uh, we know his family. Dad was a carpenter. You know, where does he get this authority? They were astonished and said, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And remember the word brother here is, can be used for a lot of family member names. And uh, you know, so here, these are his, his cousins. Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. So it's funny when we, we can't explain things, we take offense. <laughs> um, rather than say, okay, uh, let me look deeper into this, or maybe, uh, Lord, give me faith so I can see this better. I remember when I was in high school, wasn't Catholic, they were teaching us about the Eucharist, that it's the body, blood, soul, and the divinity of Jesus. I'd go to the all school masses and my friends would reverently bow before receiving the Eucharist. And I thought, why are they so reverent? It's just a piece of bread, or so I thought. You know, I would get, I don't think I'd get offended, but I would get, you know, incredulous. Like, this doesn't make any sense. You know, they're, they're foolish, I thought. It wasn't until I received my first communion by accident uh, one day that I knew now, not just here, but I knew in my heart that this was more than a piece of bread that it was the body of Christ. And it's what propelled me into the Catholic Church. Then going to Eucharistic Adoration propelled me into the priesthood. And it's the source of my life, uh, the lifeblood of my life, celebrating the Eucharist, going to Eucharistic Adoration. So I love St. Peter Julian Imard, you know, where he founded this uh, religious congregation on the Eucharist. And not only did he have a group of men, but then uh, there was a group of women and then a group of lay people that followed. Uh, and here at St. Isaac Jogues, on the backside of our church, we have one of the most beautiful adoration chapels I've seen. And it's the lifeblood of our parish where any time, day or night, you just see people coming and going and being filled with, with God's love and the Holy Spirit. And then hopefully going out and sharing that love with the community. Jesus responded to them by saying, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place and in his own house. How often when people know us, um, you know, we're not accepted. You know, they think, I know that person. They can't change. There's no way that they could be a follower of Christ. Maybe you've experienced it in your own home where as you're trying to follow Christ and trying to change your ways, people are incredulous and think this can't be real. And so Jesus says, and he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. People were not open to what Jesus could do in their lives. 
Are you open to what the Lord can do in your life? Are you open to spending time with the Lord in Eucharistic adoration and at Mass to receiving His grace and mercy? So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your Son, Jesus. We thank you for the great saints like St. Peter, Julian, Imard. Help us to believe, increase our faith and trust in you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families, Buen Camino, and God bless you.